Hi there. Um, yesterday I made uh, another headband and I called it Winter Flower Headband. And someone requested for a tutorial for that one. So I'm going to show you how to make uh, another one today but using a different color. So I've already pre-made this one. This will be my top. There's two layers of it. And this will be my top part. Um, this flower has six petals in it. You just can't see it clearly when it's once it's all attached together. But it has six petals in it. And I use three colors for this one. And the bottom one has nine petals which I've already pre-made eight so it's the same thing with this one just make six and put it together and I'll be showing you how to put it together with this one after I make my last petal I've already pre-made eight of them and we need nine so I'm going to show you how to make the last one so for each petal you use 20 bands you can use one color or two or how many color you want. For this one I use three. I use pink, white, and black. And for this pattern, for this pattern I use two black first and five pink, six white, five pinks, and two black. So that's 20. But for the bottom part I use a different pattern. So I use five pink first. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then my next one is white. I use three. Four blacks. Another three whites. And then my last five pink. So that's a total of 20. Put it all in your hook like this. You have two bands. I use two pinks. You can use white or black or pink. I use pink. And then you just put it all together in there, grab it, hook it so it should look like that. There you go. And you just have to make nine of those. Once you're done with your nine, you just have to put them all together. So I have moved that there. So now I have nine petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So to put them all together, grab your band. We will use four of them. So you put this together. Make a longer one. So all you have to do is you can use the hook. Like that. So let's try that again. There you go. So now you have a longer band to attach them all together and then you just have to pull every single band to those to that longer band that you made one two Three, four, 
or by six seven eight Last but not the least, nine, and then hook it on the other side. Maybe you could try to move your pants a little bit because get kind of stuck from the knot and the two bands that we made a while ago. It's easy fix, no problem. So after you do that, you just have to lock it and hold that part and then find your center. So it should look like this. And it's done. Very pretty. And then this one, just grab one or two petals, either way, just grab a petal and just hook it in, hook it inside, that's that, I use one, I, I grab one petal to hook up my, my first one, because I only use six for this, and this, I lock it in with two, I grab two petal and then Stuck it in there, but you won't really see that after we put the the flower bud in the middle. So you just have to fix it and make sure. All bands are pulled out, Not, nothing is stuck somewhere, got caught up with other bands or something. There you go. Really pretty. So later we're going to put both of this together to have our double layer flower so it's gonna look like this it's gonna look like that so now I'm gonna go show you how to make the, the flower bud in the middle that I use for my other headband I don't have it right now my daughter or to school today so the flower looks like this so the concept is just like I made this yesterday so all you have to do is to stick it inside the flower and it's gonna hold both flower together it's gonna be like that so let's go ahead and make the other one you will need uh, a monster tail, or you can use a regular loom, just use six peg. So for this one, we're going to use um, my center. I probably want to use uh, white. And then some black, so let's do this. Oops, sorry. Okay, use six peg, so double. Use one band, fold it twice, and then twist. So just do that with all six pegs. One. And then twist. 
twist. There you go, so your top you look, should look like that, and then I'm going to make my white thicker, so I'm going to use two more layers of white, and just two bands. Like that, and then just hook them. So just keep doing that process. I'm going to be doing that process until you reach certain length you need for your bud. That's one. Second, double white. this the third one and now I'm gonna start using pink two pink another two pink do the black but this one we're going to use single band instead of double Six. Seven. So you do the black ten times. And then to lock it, to lock your blood, all you have to do is to put all bands in one peg, so one, 
to and this goes there too that goes there too so you have that and then I will grab a clear band these two clear bands for the bottom so I'm going to use that to attach the flower to my headband so just lock it and pull it so you see it's very long because I want both flowers to fit in there but with this the butt on top I will try to fold that flip it inside out so it's gonna look like this it's gonna look like that in the middle part And then just put that in there. Oops, sorry. You go put this all together. Then take your hook. Grab your flower in the middle. Voila. We have our flower. Very pretty. Simple. Fast. Now to attach it to your headband, all you have to do is to grab one. Since I use two bands, so I will grab one from the other side. So grab one from each side. So you have two. You have two bands. Clear bands. It's hard to see. But I got two clear bands. I grab one on each side. Put the headband in the middle. Place it wherever you want it to be. This one. Grab that, hook it all to your rubber band, and then you still have the other one. Do the same thing. Twist it, and then hook it all. The other side. And then it's done. There you go. Nice and pretty. So very clean. Nice and pretty pink headband. You have in there. So it looks like this. And now to make uh, the pattern outside. All you have to do hmm, is place the bands around uh, your headband. And let's say you want to use white. So just do that. Double put it over there till the bottom part of your headband right there looks like that so just keep doing that so um, I place all my white bands in there like I said just double just double wrap a white band and then roll it in there so that's one and two like that and then just put it in there so however many you want however much or depends on how 
low you want it to go. So this is how I do mine. And then um, I will use black for my chain. The chain is very easy. So two blacks. Two blacks for your chain. Grab your headband. So all you have to do is to stick your hook in there. Right there. Grab your black rubber band. Just like that. Hook it so that's your first chain. So you just have to do the same thing all throughout. Stick your hook in there again. Grab two bands. Grab the band. Chain it. Second chain. So it looks like that. So you just have to do the same process until you're done. I'm gonna go I'll go finish this up until here and show you how to do it around the flower. So there you go, I finished my chain all the way to the very last one to the flower. And what I'm going to do is to grab this, grab these two bands, and loop it around your flower like this. And so you just have to do the same thing. Now it's in there. You're going to start hooking again for your chain. So. Just do the same thing, insert your hook in there and grab two bands. And then chain and then keep doing that towards the end. And I will show you how to do the last part here. Here you go, so I'm on my very last. So I hook my Stick my hook in there, the last band, and grab two black bands, chain it, and then this one, your last knot, goes inside. So you have a black and white on this side, so what you need to do for the other side is just to grab one band, one black band, And put it in there so that way it matches. And then just fix your chain. Make sure all these lines are even size, even length, sorry. So grab the chain in the middle. And there you go. Very easy, fast. I hope you were able to follow this tutorial and hope you guys will be able to make your own headband with this kind of flower I made. Ta-da! So pretty. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye!